Before starting this video, I want to thank you guys so much for the support of my FNAF movie video, and if you haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Without going too deep into it, let's ask the old question, does Coraline need a sequel? To the classic film, well, in the film Coraline, they try to hit everything on the head and leave a nice little bow at the end with a bit of mystery to keep you wondering years from now, getting you to theorize what the ending may have actually meant for Coraline, and whether she is forever trapped to the Pink Palace as an illusion or if she is genuinely free and able to go as she pleases. I mean, the Beldam only created what was necessary for what she thought Coraline needed and wanted to see, and sadly, since we don't see how much of the world is explored other than the Pink Palace in the end of the film, we can't tell if she is truly free or not. All we see is the black cat disappearing behind the Pink Palace sign to never be seen again. Now, let's start with the pros of there being a sequel to the beloved film Coraline and why it would really work out well. The Coraline films rely on forms of mystery and suspense to lead the audience into its mystical and magical world, which is why to this day it's considered the fan favorite. With the scenes of the other world within the Pink Palace, they show you bright colors and expose you to the possibility of a brighter future for Coraline, before absolutely dragging the rug beneath your feet and trapping Coraline in this other world with the other mother. From a friendly experience to an intense dark one, it's not hard to understand why people enjoy this film so much, and to this day, why it's referenced and widely talked about. Now, when considering the option of a Coraline 2, you have to consider where to pick off and how to continue the story after throwing away the key down the well, and really putting the other mother to an end, or so we think. With the ending of the cat disappearing behind the sign, it really throws off the reality of the actual story, allowing for the perfect slot for a sequel to be made. Whether they make it as she grows older and finds out her whole life she's been living in this fake, or continuing right back to the end of the actual film and how she eventually makes her grand escape, this could present things in the story that we hadn't even been introduced to in the original film, such as the backstory to the creation of the Bell Dam and the other creature, which is the Wormhole, that hasn't been basically talked about at all during the film. Even though that character can have drastic changes in the storytelling of the actual second film, or investing more into the character of YB to double down on the story, to make him a really important character to be more included in the movie, which would be vastly more entertaining for the audience to see. The possibilities for the sequel of the movie are so practically endless thanks to the open ending of the original film, and without a doubt would make it money, knowing the popularity of the actual franchise itself, though its threshold has passed a while ago, seeing that Coraline was made in 2006. But, with those same positive attributes of the film, comes to why Coraline should probably not make a sequel at all. Okay, well first, let's go to the most obvious thing out of the way when discussing the sequel, which is upholding the reputation that Coraline has achieved through its successful first film. If a sequel is created and said sequel flops, it tarnishes the creation of the first one and has fans try to disregard the magic that was created making its predecessor. We've seen this time and time again with countless sequels that have been made having an amazing beginning first film just for a second to kill that reputation. Even in popular anime, with their first season and their second season killing off the whole popularity of the original show. If you're looking, then look no further than The Promised Neverlands, a show created with an almost perfect story and elaborate plot lines that kept the show going for years. That was until the second season, which killed off more than half of the fans and the popularity of the overall show that had such a big fan base, me included in said fan base at the time, turned to absolute waste, like dead meat. Ain't that right, Connie? Another thing you have to consider with the creation of a sequel film is that the plot doesn't stray too far from the original and retains the aspects of the first film that others loved so very much, while still being different at the same time with nicely knit together plot and sequence of events that keeps the viewers into the film, which was really nicely done with the first film, but with the second one they'd need an original story without the book source material and make it just as entertaining which is going to be really, really difficult to do. Why I say this is because the creator of the film and Neil Gaiman's longtime friend and rival, Tim Burton, had the same situation when created the sequel to Alice in Wonderland when making the film Alice Through the Looking Glass. You all remember that. Though it's not the animation styles of both movies are fairly similar, but with its plots, main characters, and few minor details, that's what worries me the most. That if Tim Burton couldn't pull it off, that it would be vastly more difficult for a game to pull it off, especially through animation instead of live action. But that's basically the cons and pros for them to make a Coraline 2. 
If I were to personally say which one I would prefer, I think instead of an actual film of Coraline 2, maybe a short instead to continue her story in a positive way. Like what she was doing after everything that happened, or make a short to excite the fans for an eventual sequel, but making that short would be a much, 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 much safer bet for the creators. But yeah, that's all I really got to say about the sequel for Coraline 2. I want to thank everyone for the support on my FNAF video, and make sure to check it out if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cosmic, signing off. Making up a song about Coraline. She's a peach, she's a doll, she's a pal of mine. She's as cute as a button in the eyes of everyone who